welcome back to another painting tutorial today we'll be doing a rose flower painting and I will decide later whether or not I will use a black background for this one or just a plain white background so let's proceed already and let me tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's rose painting tutorial of course I've I've already prepared the colors so we have here burnt sienna titanium white brilliant red phthalo green cadmium yellow green oxide and black so let's begin now and i'm gonna sketch first my subject and i'll be using my red color let's just use the red color since you know we're doing a rose painting anyway so for this one everything is not final here but we want to make sure that we get the general look of um, a rose. Like so. So this is just a sketch. You can use your pens, I mean your pencils, if um, you're not really comfortable sketching using the paint. I'm gonna get my green oxide, I mean my phthalo green. Actually, it doesn't really matter as long as um, you get the shape right. It's just for sketching anyway. You can change. Alright. So for those who are telling me that they cannot really draw, uh, you don't have to be a draughtsman actually to be a painter but it's actually a plus if you are you know kind of somehow you you kind of know how to draw it kind of helps and i really encourage you guys to you know give it a try and don't be scared of drawing it i mean i mean it's just it's just colors why should you be scared about it what's the worst thing that could happen right I don't know it's just my opinion guys if you do not or if we do not share the same opinion it's all right but I know that uh, you have your own reason for that but I just want to encourage everyone to try to learn something all right I'm gonna get again my red color all right like that then let's go back I'm gonna make it quite thick it's quite it's quite thin I want it to be quite big like this all right again let's just create some more all right like that right like that so basically that's the shape of our rose flower um, again I will make some adjustments later it depends on uh, how it's going you know as we go on all right so I'm gonna use my regular brush I'm just gonna use uh, an angle brush for the rest of the painting so let me get my red I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to my red so like this so just darken your red by adding black to it you can actually use burnt sienna to darken your red or to make it more muted you know not super bright okay like this color so i'm gonna use this color dark red to underpaint now my rose so again just use black to darken your red you can use burnt sienna for this um purpose it depends if your burn sienna um, does the job it's fine me using black has always worked for me so if you're not really a fan of black paint it's all right you can use other dark colors so for your own painting you can choose to uh, you can choose to have a white background or a black background it's up to you I'm just gonna use um, it will depend later guys how I feel about my painting 
All right, like so. And then I'm going to get my pure red, just red. Maybe I'm going to add a tiny bit of orange to that to make it quite orangey. And I'm going to color the rest of the rose, but with that color. So there will be some dark areas here. And there will be some light areas because we will be painting the light as well. This is just the underpainting. Everything will be painted over later or repaired later on. Just trying again to get the general shape of this rose. like so okay, again I'm just using red all right like that all right that's the underpainting for this um, rose bud I'm just gonna get more black I just want to darken this area Just darken. Okay. We're going to make some shadows and of course absence of light and presence of light. We have to emphasize that later. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out and let me check first if I'm still recording because sometimes all right, we're recording guys. Because sometimes um there was this time that I kept on talking and then I forgot to turn on the camera so it was pretty useless thing talking to myself so I'm gonna get my green phthalo green I'm gonna add uh, yellow cadmium yellow maybe add a tiny bit of green oxide to that so it's like this I'm gonna add burnt sienna to that okay I'm just gonna underpaint actually I need darker green I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black right so we're gonna underpaint now the um what do you call that that like cup holding the rose but it's not the leaves um it's like the cup the cup <laughs> i don't know guys so i'm just gonna underpaint that part of the rose bud that holds the bud in place like this again i'm just gonna use some darker greens we're trying to underpaint. Okay, same color right here. And a tiny bit of water. So, okay. This time I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna. This side. Yeah, like that. So I'm just gonna underpaint this. so and then green oxide down here like so okay I'm gonna get my red the colors that we already have here and then I'm gonna add some reddish colors in some areas here and here as well okay again red color down here right here so. okay I'm gonna use this reddish color with a tiny bit of black to cover this area kind of like the weather today guys I mean I don't want to talk about the weather with you but I just appreciate it because I'm in front of my window so I can see how good the weather is like 
so maybe here at the back as well it's gonna add a tiny bit of detail at the back all right like so okay i'm gonna wash my brush out i'm gonna get again my greeny colors to finish this all right like like that okay for the details of the rosebud i'm just gonna get again my red Just to finish it. All right, like that. I'm gonna get my titanium white. So get short titanium white, tiny bit of red to make it like light pink. And I'm gonna use this to separate now the petals from each other. I'm gonna separate this first by using that color so just try to outline it like like that and same thing that i'll be doing right here so just try to outline like that so we're trying to separate it so using this pinky color pink i'm just going to add a tiny bit of water and I'm gonna make some highlights here. Did you see that? So I'm just using my fingers just to highlight. All right, like that. I'm gonna get my red. I'm just gonna go around again the highlighted areas okay um. all right wash your brush out I'm gonna get my red okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to make it light red. And let's use this color to separate the petals of this rose. Okay, I'm gonna add more white. It's not being it's not being seen. Yeah, like that. So we're just trying to highlight highlight the edges of the petals to separate the petals from each other. to make some highlights here okay. I need to make it quite like that we're going to do some depth so get your black maybe add a tiny bit of red to that so that we're still consistent with the reddish color of this rose we're going to do some depth, so I'm just going to darken some areas to separate or to emphasize the separation between our leaves or between our petals, sorry. So I'm just going to go and outline it again, this time using black. Alright, and then I'm going to make some dark areas right here like so right. like that all right i'm gonna get my red again Add a tiny bit of yellow to make some orangey color like this. Okay, I'm gonna add more red. And let's try to uh, highlight the top petals. Just use this color.
like so. Here. Gonna make it quite pinky. Like so. Like that. We haven't really done the uh, background. That's why uh, I'm thinking if I'll I'll be doing a black background. I don't know. Not sure yet. All right. I'm gonna apply some of that same color down here, the bottom. All right. I'm gonna use more yellow this time and let's make some highlights right here. Like that. All right, wash your brush out. And then I want to use some brownie color. I'm going to use my burnt sienna. Okay, and then I'm going to use some water to darken some spots. Very random, guys, because you know we're painting a natural subject right here. So we want it to be quite random, like natural looking. We don't want any strict, like, any straight lines so I'm gonna dab on some reddish brownish colors right here and then tiny bit of black just to make sure that we're really creating natural spots I hope it's making sense guys okay I'm gonna create this I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna make it quite yellow greenish not super green I don't like the super green color okay yellow yellow colors right here like that okay go shiver shout I'm gonna get my black and I'm just gonna separate the the cup I'm calling it cup guys sorry like that I'm just gonna darken it all right now I'm gonna use a point a stiff round brush. I'm gonna get my white color and some red. So just I'm just gonna combine them, maybe burnt sienna. So randomly, I'm just gonna tap like so. Like that. To make it really really look like natural you know you can see the spots and along okay I'm just gonna use the edge like that I 
different and then I'm gonna get my dark red okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black and I'm gonna darken some areas You know, some technique guys are better watched than, you know, explain. Sometimes. All right. I'm gonna get my yellow greeny colors. I'm gonna get my red again gonna get more yellow this time tiny bit of white and let's try to make some more highlights I don't know if it's gonna work Alright, I think guys I'll be using a black background for this one uh, because I want to emphasize the light so for the black background I'm just gonna use of course my black right and let's just go around this subject it's quite easy to yeah I kind of like the black background you know sometimes I only decide the background after painting the subject so again if you actually want your background to be just plain white it's up to you guys me i kind of like the black background so because i want to paint some more light and for me to be able to do that i need some contrast so i'm just gonna go around this flower and cover some those spaces that you see And I think it's good that I only decided a little bit later, I mean the background color, because if I use black immediately, uh, that would be a waste of paint because a huge part of the canvas is the subject and not, you know, only a, uh, only a certain portion of this canvas will be black. It's not like a huge portion, only a small portion. So after doing this background color, I will be able to do some light play because of the contrast and I'm so excited about it. So I'm just gonna darken the background. Right, I kinda like the back the black background. And it's also the best time for me to delete those paints that went outside the, um, the sketch so I can actually paint over it and delete it. So just paint it black. So I need more black paint. use more black okay. 
All right, right here. So it's good that I'm using an angle brush because I can really go inside those indents quite easily compared to using round brush. All right. Actually, that's really, really way better compared to the white background. I kind of like this. Now let's go and make some light play. Let me just fix some areas. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out. And I kind of like this already. I'm gonna get a pointy brush so that I can really make some details. I'm going to make some pink color. So get your white and then red, just mix them. So get your pink. Let's just go around the top petals. Like so. All right, like that. So I'm using it to make some brighter portions. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to get just pure red like that okay I need more red we'll be glazing it or we'll be glazing over it so I'm just gonna use my angle brush to glaze I'm gonna get my pure red this time and I want to use a little bit of water I want to glaze the rose flower like so. So you can see I just glaze it with some red paint. Like that. here as well okay I'm going to get some light green I'm oh, sorry so I'm mixing my white and some green oxide and I want to highlight this um, part of the cup
Okay, I added some more yellow. And I'm going to get my burnt sienna, maybe add a tiny bit of black. And I'm just going to make some um, black spots. gonna get again my burnt sienna I want to make some spots uh, on this on this flower to make it more like really natural Pinky colors. Like that. I'm gonna get some black. Okay, I'm gonna darken this corner like so. Just gonna use my hand like that. And I'm gonna glaze this area because it's not really receiving light, so it should be a little darker. gonna get my burnt sienna and I'm just gonna make some more spots like that I'm gonna get some greens So I'm just randomly applying those greeny color. Like okay, I'm gonna get my white. And I'm, I have to make it a little more dark to separate it. Alright, 
I will use some magenta color. Okay, I'm gonna use my magenta and tiny bit of white like this. Maybe tiny bit of yellow like so. And I wanna use this color to highlight the top petals going to get some black plus red darken once more and then I'm going to outline again oh that's super dark this use dark red do not use black to outline petals like so if it gets a little darker you can always glaze it like so gonna get my burnt sienna plus black to glaze okay you can listen to this the noise of the street Okay, some light greeny colors. Okay, I'm gonna get again my magenta and I want to make some more detailing I'm gonna get my white. Let's create some more highlights. Right, wash your brush out. Okay, 
All right, I will glaze using my yellow, okay? This might be a surprising technique, but I don't know. I'm just gonna use my yellow and my red color, or you can use your magenta. And I'm gonna try to glaze top because I'm not really like that. And then white. Like so. Very subtle application. Like that not too much guys we, we don't want this we don't want to overdo this step like so All right, I'm gonna use my yellow plus green. Okay, let's glaze this, this side only. Like that. And get some black. Let's make this quite dark. Like that. Okay, again, some yellow, tiny bit of brown. make this a little red Let's outline it a bit Okay, let's highlight this. Like that. Let me check. Okay, it's looking all right. I'm gonna get my yellow and I think I need to glaze some areas here like so like that okay and let's make this back like leaf Kind of greenish color. Here, 
some suggestions of green. Then make some more spots like that. Then more white to highlight. Like so. Okay, for the background, I'm just going to clean the background by adding some more black. Because I just kind of want it to be more polished. like that okay oh nice oh my gosh it's so nice right kind of like it especially when i um double coated my background color i think it made my flower like pop out a little bit Okay, I'm going to get my orangey colors right here. So we're going to make some more highlights like that. I like it. All right. It's nice. And I'm going to glaze some white paint. This is good. 
I'm just gonna use more magenta. You know, there are a lot of glazing in here, which I kind of like. So I'm just using my magenta. To create some more darker reds inside this rose. I really like this one. Like that. Okay. I'm just obsessing over some more detailing. But you can actually sign your painting now. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to sign this now. I'm gonna use my hmm, white. Okay, and let's try signing it right here. Yes, we're done. We're done guys. We're done, I hope you enjoyed this rose painting tutorial. And I hope you do this one as well. So see you in my next video, guys. Love you.